I'm going to do a video with Seth going through my Burning Man comments because the internet is a nasty, nasty place and most of my comments are positive and good, but the Burning Man ones are gnarly. Hey guys, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday. I have been YouTubing since 2015. The channel started off as a travel channel and now I'm home and I've been home for like a year. If this is your first time here, welcome. I have done tons and tons of solo travel tips, tips on different locations. Please go check those out. Moving forward, I'll be shifting gears and that will be announced in like a month. But for now, I'm going through and trying to teach you all the things that I've learned from travel because I have so much information. This isn't my favorite kind of video. My favorite kind of videos are storytelling. So the like five tips for blah, 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 not my super favorite, but this one I thought was super important because there's something called reverse culture shock, which honestly seems like a first world problem. It's like where you go traveling full time or long term and then you come back home and you're just like, whoa, the world is different here. I don't know how to handle it. My life is different now that I'm in one place versus like going different places. Like I said, this is not like this huge issue, but it's something that does affect you mentally. A few people have said that these videos are helpful, so I wanted to share with you if you know that you're going home soon or maybe your semester's almost over and you're headed home, or you know anybody that's about to head home, please send them this video because this is super helpful for helping them transition. So basically what I did was I thought about what helped me. My problem, or like kind of why I had this big issue of coming home, was because I wasn't really expecting it. Like, I remember a while ago somebody being like, when are you finally going to settle down? And I was like, honestly, I don't know. It depends who I meet. If I meet somebody that wants to live in a van down by the river and raise babies doing that, probably going to do that. If I meet somebody who wants to like set in one spot and there's somebody that I want to be with, then that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I found. So. Seth and I moved to Washington and my trips, to me that was still travel, like I'm still moving to a new place and living there. And then in December we decided to move home. And I was totally okay with it. I was like, yeah, let's do this. This is a choice that I made. But then I got here and I was just like, what do I do here? I don't, I don't know what to do. So then I was like, I'm going to adventure around. Let's just get into it. So I have six tips for things that you need to think about before you come home. Figure out what it is you love about traveling. For me, it was new, new everything, new people, new places, new experiences, learning things. It was just like everything was brand new and I was just getting to like, every day was different. I was trying new foods and like new. So then my boyfriend Seth was like, Shayla, he kept being like, just go get on a plane, go somewhere. But when I traveled, I didn't like traveling for like a week. I like going for months and like digging into the culture and really getting a feel for it. So that's what I had to do here. I started going to networking events for entrepreneurs. I started going to festivals, food truck festivals, or this film fest, or we went to soccer games. We just, I just did a bunch of new things. I'd go to classes so that I could learn new skills. I went to a women's camping class like 101 at REI and I just just trying to find different things and being comfortable going by myself. I also love being on a plane and being completely disconnected where nobody's trying to call me, nobody knows that like nobody can get a hold of me and I can just like be free and just think. And so I need that element as well of just like having the space to think because I love going, 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 even talking. I'm just like super energetic and whatever. So it's good for me to have that time where I just kind of like shut everything off and do nothing. So th really thinking about what it is that you love about travel and then trying to figure out how you're going to incorporate that into your daily life. Number two, find a hobby. So let's say you're like, hmm, rock climbing school. I want to start rock climbing. Join a rock climbing gym. Or if you want to really start learning how to cook, co-ops a lot of time will have like cooking classes or take a cooking class or get on group on. The reality is, is when you're traveling, you're kind of people's topic of conversation. And that sounds really like, uh, what's it, vain? But it's true. When people talk to you, they're like, oh, where are you going next? What are you doing? Tell me about your interesting life. And so when you come home, people are like, what's your next trip? And you're like, I don't really have anything coming up next, but you can move to the to the hobby. Yeah, I'm not really going on any trips soon. I'm really here and I, I joined a rock climbing gym and I'm super excited about learning how to do that. There's a competition coming up this weekend and it allows you to like move the conversation from like, oh, you don't have any travel plans? 
cool. No, I'm still happy with what I'm doing. It's not like I'm, I've moved back and I'm like, oh, my life sucks now. It's like, no, I'm doing this. You need to find things that make you excited because for me, I didn't have that. And so I moved back and I was like, I'm not traveling and my life sucks. I'm going to try and go on like a road trip, but it rained this weekend and everything was just like a downer. So like finding what you're passionate about, like now I'm leading workshops and I'm collaborating with people and like that gets me so excited. So it allows the conversation to move like that. Trip number three is when you're in those conversations, start asking people about them. Because so many times, because you're the topic, topic of conversation, topic of conversation, people want to ask you questions about what you're doing, where you're going, and then you share your hobby. And it can be kind of a one-way conversation. Ask them what they're up to. Ask them what their new job is like or what they love about it. Move the conversation to talk about them and asking them about any tidbits you know from social media like, oh, I saw you just got a new puppy. That Talk about things that you know make them excited. That seems like an obvious one, but, and maybe it's just me. Maybe I just like to talk about myself a lot <laughs> or talk to myself in my bedroom by myself. That's one of the reasons why I love this channel actually because people like know what I'm doing and then I can be like, all right, moving on, let's talk about you. Tip number four, what will you do for work? This is super important because when I got home, I had no idea. I didn't know. I had done some talent work because of my YouTube channel, so then I started working with an agency here to do some talent work. I started an online YouTube course, but these things all took time and I was just like, what? am I going to do? If you do social media, like maybe you can run other people's social media. I don't like running the social media. I like the strategy behind it. So I like meeting with brands or businesses and like strategizing their business and then being like, now go do it. So figure out what pieces of your job that you love and then try and find a marketing company that you can use that or just freelance. As travelers, we're always searching for new things or just kind of going with the flow and what feels good. So if it feels good to learn about cooking, that's gonna be really exciting. So thinking about what you're gonna do for work and money because that's a big stressor. The fifth thing is thinking about where you want to live. You've just traveled the world, you know kind of the things that you're interested in, you know what you like doing. Maybe you're gonna move back home like I did because this is where my family is. If I were to live anywhere or if I could bring things to Minnesota that I would love, it would be uh, mountains because I love hiking and I love seeing epic views. I don't know, just like adventuring and just kind of being outside. What are the pieces that you want for where you live? Then then move to that spot. Or for me in Minnesota, there are no mountains. There are lakes, so I can do the boat thing. But I'm here because my family is here and that's what's important to me. So then making sure I'm spending time with family. Number six, again, first world problem, but You've met all these epic people traveling, they're still traveling most likely, and you're no longer traveling. So you look at them and you're like, I've done it, and now I'm just not. And it was really hard for me because I was like, I could still be doing this, but I've chose not to, but it's still hard because you're like, oh, I was with them, I was doing what they were doing, and I, and I chose to stop. So then just constantly remembering and seeing these things, so I unfollowed a bunch. I kept, I stayed following the people that I like actually made relationships with. But then you follow those huge accounts that are like super inspirational and blah, blah, blah. Started unfollowing all that. And then I started following things in my hobby and things with business and marketing. So unfollow the accounts that don't bring you joy. You have to find the thing that makes you as happy as travel makes you because we all know that that is just soul filling. Please share this with somebody who's coming home from long-term travel, who's already home from long-term travel, who is long-term traveling and they'll eventually be coming home, someone studying abroad, anyone that you could think of that would benefit from this. So hopefully that's helpful. I'll run through. So figure out what you love about travel so you can replicate it in your spot. Find a hobby. Ask people questions about themselves in conversation. What are you going to do for work? Where do you want to live? And then unfollow certain accounts. I hope all this stuff is obvious and you're like, well, duh, Shayla. But it was not for me. None of these things were obvious. This is a year of learning and like literally struggling and tripping through it all. So I thought I would say, hey, let me tell you it helped me. So now I'm going to start doing workshops and teaching people business and YouTube and video and all the things. And it literally makes me so happy. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was a lot of information. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this helps you prevent getting reverse culture shock. And I will see you guys all next Wednesday. Mwah. Thank you.